Hello and welcome to another episode of the uh, DMG Tech Show. I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode we're going to be uh, installing Crouton. I am running it on the Acer Chromebook, so it'll be Intel based, so everybody that's running a ARM based Chromebook, you might run into some different problems here or there, so do take that in note. But you can always ask questions in the bottom and maybe we can try to figure something out for you guys if it is a little bit different. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is go over to the GitHub webpage. This is going to be the home website for the Crouton. So every time there's an update to the Crouton script, this is where you want to come download it. So about every maybe month, you might want to come and download a new version of it. Uh, always back up the current version that you have just in case it breaks your or something goes wrong. That way you at least have something to roll back into. So we'll go ahead and download that. Uh, go ahead and press Control alt t on your keyboard. You'll come up with this screen and we're going to type in shell, S-H-E-L-L. -L. And here we go. So this is going to be where our basis is. So this is going to, to sign into your crouton. This is where you're going to want to need to come into every single time. And then you'll be able to type the start command, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. So the command that we're going to need to use to install is going to be this right here. We'll actually add something to it. So what this is, so this is telling you, I want to use this release. In the, so I will press enter now. And this is the fun part because you don't really need to do much. Uh, this is going to take a little time. Uh, it's probably will take about anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how fast your internet connection is. Okay, now that that's finished up, uh, it's going to ask us, as you see right here, for a username. And then it's going to be followed by a password. So you can go ahead and do that. Now your password will be invisible, so just type it in twice and it'll uh, make sure you type it correctly and it'll work. And now that we'll be, uh, we'll come up to the screen now and now we can start it. To start the Crouton environment, depending on what you've installed, so if you installed Unity you're going to type in sudo start unity if you followed along directly with this tutorial and you start uh, installed the xfc desktop environment then you're just going to type in xfc with the uh, number four press enter and there you go now i'm going to end this video because uh, we're going to go over to the crouton side of things and we'll finish it up